we're back. Ben, holy shit. We're, we're actually we're actually playing some Warhammer. Woo! Um, I think it's been nearly a year. It's been it has been quite a while. Uh, it's been a, a good few months since we last did it. And you know what? We're doing it again. Hooray! By popular demand. Yeah. Sort of. Well, my mum asked us to, and that's enough, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, and, you know, I'll, I'll do almost anything that, um, that your mum asks. <laughs> really, really game. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm genuinely super excited because yeah. I get to play as one of my favourite Warhammer characters of all time. If not, he might possibly be my favourite Warhammer character. Oh, my God. Who is this virtuous knightly hero? Uh, so, I am playing as the motherfucking warlord of Karak Eight Peaks himself, Skarsnik. I, I think you'll find the true warlord of Karak Eight Peaks is... Um this, this dwarf guy? <laughs> Dunbrun <laughs> Bron <laughs> Hammer. Yeah. Who, who are you? Um, I don't know. I'm still loading. Oh, shit. Um, but, you know, I'm sure it's some, yeah, Barak Stonefist or... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's something um, like that. Yeah. Insert generic dwarf name here. Okay. Here we go. I'm oh, in. Shit, we're in. And there's a timer. So we've got a longer timer this time, don't we? Yeah, we've learned. We've learned from one of our mistakes <laughs> in our lives. <laughs> we've made <laughs> numerous mistakes. I've okay. got Belagar Iron Hammer. Oh, fucking Belagar Iron Hammer. The famous. What a, famous what a pro. So maybe he is super famous and important in the new Warhammer background. I don't know. But when I was playing Warhammers... I'd never heard of him. I, yeah, I, I feel like he is new, and I need to do the things that make me good. Yeah, so um, while you're clicking, I will explain that we are... We're, go we're going head-to-head -head campaign again, but we're using the the Warlord and the King DLC, is that what it's called? That is correct. Warlord and the King. So um, we both think we're in charge of Karak Eight Peaks, the famous Dwarven Stronghold, but only one of us can be. Is it... Skarsnik, Gribblebutt, the Goblin. Whoa! Or Barak, Big Dong, the Dwarf. Barak, Big Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Gribblebutt and Big Dong. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's that's our names, I guess. So that's our that's our victory condition. Uh, it's a race to recapture Karak Eight Peaks from whichever dickhead's got it at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, Skarsnik! Holy shit! Oh, what a guy! And so he's got his big his big buddy Gobbler with him. Oh, I always liked Gobbler. Gobbler, his loyal uh, super squig. Mm -hmm. Squig Hunt. And um, yeah, he's a, he's good, just good, all round good guy. Okay, pal. Man, okay, it's your turn. Oh shit, I've got to do clicking. Okay, um, you fiddle away. Um, so, generally when I'm playing these games, I tend to, I quite like kind of the more. A, a more badass, slightly like elite force. Um, I used to love doing hordes, but um, I like to have troops that you can rely upon. Yeah, that is really important. Whereas the goblins are—you <laughs> can rely on them, Tom. Don't don't <laughs> pretend that you can't rely on them to do what they do. They okay. They have <laughs> a very simple job that uh, they kind of can do they're, they're tar pits yeah for a for a short period of time they're um uh yeah a little tar spill um you know they they get your shoes all mucky and then then it, then it sucks holy shit man these fucking dwarves already oh my god there's so much I, I've, I've only got the one territory and i already feel like i don't have enough time to click everything I, <laughs> i've not played as dwarves before in, um, oh. in total warhammer so it's all like this tech tree is kind of Bewildering. Oh um, fuck! Uh, top is like money and stuff. Bottom is troops. Right. So who's around you? Who are you going to um, try? I've and got conquer? these guys who are there's some kind of neutral. The broken nose tribe oh, to my left. Broken nose tribe. The um, the skull takers are to my north. Oh sweet. And the black venom goblin tribe are to my right. Oh, man, black venom goblins. Um. So. So surrounded, surrounded by, by dickheads, by filthy gobos. Filthy, filthy gobos. Well, I've got dwarves. Oh shit! There, there are wood elves here. Oh yeah, the wood elves are in the game now. <laughs> they weren't last time I played. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, shit! There's, there's just a whole giant forest. Uh, there's Lorien here. Maybe if we don't bother them, they won't bother us. I kind of hope that's the case because they only really stay in their territory, right? Yeah. Look, there's some magic waystones at the entrance. Ooh, fuck. I think that's the line. If you go over the line, oh, then shit. trouble. Okay. 
Right. Wood elves, I'm saying now. I don't want any beef. Actually, shit, there's new paths through these mountains. Before, they were this, like, horrible little, um... Like, a, imp a possible route. Oh. But now... Oh. Don't forget, we can tunnel now, now that we're dwarves and goblins. Oh, yeah, yeah. We couldn't do that last time. Oh, holy shit, the tunnel-based shenanigans. Oh, it's really frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> uh, chasing down, um... Chasing down oh, dickheads tunnel. that are tunneling. Oh. Um, okay, right. Is this all working? So tell us more about Skarsnick. He's so, your, your favourite, right? Skarsnick, holy shit. So, like, um, yeah, I used to have a actual night goblin army with hundreds and hundreds of little plastic toy goblins. Man, I had a night goblin army too. Some of those mini little metal ones were, like, giving people the finger and, uh, like, had buckets on their heads and stuff. Yeah, they were cool. Flashing their butts. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just a whole gigantic mess. <laughs> yeah, and a whole mob of jerks. I really, really liked it. It was kind of frustrating to play because uh, you just spent, you know, literally months painting hundreds of these little toy soldiers. Yeah, and then you'd have to get a dustpan and brush every time someone <laughs> yeah. shot at them because they would all die. Yeah, which was kind of, kind of a bit sucky. Oh man, I can't make peace with anyone. Oh, the, oh, my relationship with Arguilon, who are wood elves, is improving. Oh. Okay. They, uh... Oh, it's because you're not going in their forest. They yeah. Like that. And Avaland, they seem just pretty chill. Um, everyone else absolutely hates me. And, yeah, uh, my, my diplomacy is want, similar. Want to war me. Okay, right, I don't have a huge amount that I can really do. I can recruit goblins. <laughs> You're going to be doing, oh, I have a grudge, a grudge to fulfill. Oh, shit. Oh, um, okay. So the grudges. The, my, right. So my grudges take back Carrigate Peaks. Oh. Are already self-imposed. Oh, shit. Objective. Oh, man. Well, I've got, I don't control Carrigate Peaks. Obedience minus two in all provinces. Oh, shit. I think it's time to set Gobbler, Gobbler going to uh, start cracking some skulls. Right, I'm taking my ghost friends with me, oh, which is my special friends. thing. Tell us all about your ghost friends. So again, this isn't like Warhammer lore I'm familiar with because it's after my time. But apparently, um, Belcor Ironcock has <laughs> the Ironcock <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> has got four um, like of his ancestors just follow him about in ghost form for the rest of his life. Oh, like, is that even... He's there, he's trying to seduce a lady, Lady yeah, Dwarf comes back. Yeah, he's just got these four back. ghost mates going, go on, get in there, my son. <laughs> They're just, my like, great, hovering. My great-great-grandson, you hovering can do it. Hovering around the bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, Sounds like is, the worst. That is going to kill the mood. Yeah, uh, that's why he's on his own, and he's not allowed more friends. Oh. Oh, he's not allowed real friends. No, he's only got ghost, ghost friends. friends. Oh, shit. That, um, that sounds the worst. So they are, like, they're agents. Like, um, I've got two Thanes, one uh, runesmith and one engineer. And um, they can run around on the map and, like, fuck around. Or they can join the army and be ghost warriors. Oh, that um, sounds pretty good. They seem very cool. Hopefully they'll make up for the fact that my regular troops cost, like, twice as much to upkeep. Maybe they're scared of the ghost friends. Ah. Oh. I don't know. That. Oh, they've all got amazing names. We've got Hacklenhaf Stonebeard. Ooh, what's what's his deal? Um, he's a Thane. Nice. And he's my great great uncle. Mm hmm. Um, and he he got cursed by gypsies, oh. and his beard did turn to stone. What like, uh, dwarf gypsies? Um, goblin gypsies. Goblin gypsies. Oh. Yeah. Um, so then he died from having a stone beard. Stone beard, shit. Um, and just was then cursed to haunt, haunt the world. And okay. Teach his great grandson about killing, killing dwarfs, killing gobbos. <laughs> killing dwarfs. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we got King Loon Ironhammer. Okay, he um, sounds pretty good. He's who, a king. Shit, how does this work? Because they've got different surnames. So he's the only one with the same surname as me, but they are all my ancestors. So they must be on, like, my mother's side, I guess. Oh, that might be it. Um, so he he's actually my dad. Like, he's he was Car Warlord of Caracate Peaks before me. Oh, really? No yeah. way. And um, his dying wish was that he could perv on me when I was having sexy <laughs> Son, <laughs> you'll keep, keep the legacy going. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll watch over you and give you pointers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh God. God, Lun. Oh, he's pretty creepy looking as well, actually. Oh shit. So that's unfortunate. That's why I don't have a wife. Oh. Um, because he's always there. Oh fuck. Then we got uh, Drama Hammer Fist. Drama Hammer Fist. Drama nice. Hammer. <laughs> nice, I like him. He's got a good name. He is a master engineer. Oh shit. And he nice. was my mum's brother. Uh, so your uncle? Yeah, that's how that works. Has he got a rune, like, imprinted into his head? Or is oh. that like a skull cap he's wearing? Oh. I can't tell. I'm going to assume he was branded on the skull, on the forehead. And he, he died of just infection. And he died. <laughs> just massive infection <laughs> yeah. to uh, head branding. Due to poor, poor treatment. Oh, shit. Um, so I feel like my whole family's probably got some kind of gypsy curse. Oh. Which is why I've got ghost friends. A goblin, goblin curse. Goblin get gypsy curse. So um, I blame the goblins for everything that's gone, gone wrong in my life. Since, shit. Since the curse. Oh, uh, makes sense. Um... Oh, it's my go. Shit. Yeah. I was just jabbering. I thought it was your turn. <laughs> I, was, I know. I was really impressed. Like, man, like, fuck, you're clicking the buttons and <laughs> chatting away. Uh, oh, I'm allied with the Wood Elves. What? Really shit. But... Like, I just declared war on the Black Venom Goblins to make friends with all their enemies. And they said, do you want to invite your friends, the Wood Elves, to the party? Motherfuckers. Why is it? I'm going to build a Dwarven Brewery so we can all get drunk after kicking the Goblins in. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Um, That'll be ready. By the time I get home, that brewery will be ready waiting for me. Oh, oh, lovely, lovely dwarven ale. Sounds, sounds delicious. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, the Black Venom Gobbos have got just like, oh, no. Oh, phew, I thought they had a big army waiting for me, but they've actually got a crippled, butchered army waiting for me that someone else has already done the hard work. Oh. Oh, amazing. I'm going to get all the glory... And none of the work, if this, this goes. Oh shit, that is, that is my favourite kind of job. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? I'm uh, hiring a new, um, a new war boss. Ah. Oh. Because... Gobbos, they need... A lot of, a lot of chumps. And there's like a, the dwarf territories around here that I have to take. Mm-hmm are straight up just filled with dwarves. Well, yeah, that's where they live. That's literally where they live. And I don't really like it. And I don't think I can take just a, an army filled with goblins in there. So you're going to double, double stack them? I'm, I'm super, super stacking. Nice. Once you've got one stack full, you can then sit on the edge of the border and raid to like keep their war high. Oh, that's while the a good second idea. stack like, builds up. Oh, that's very smart, actually. And it also drains their money, so they'll have they'll be able to build less stuff. Oh, see, this is straight out of Goblin One Hundred and One. Yeah, Skarsnik, Art of Big Book of War. Nice. Okay. How required well, reading at the Goblin Military Academy? Do the goblins? Oh, Slider Miser has got a, uh, a skill. Who's Slider Miser? He's my Goblin boss, who is. He's like your right-hand man. You give the orders and he runs off and makes it so. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'll not do it, boss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave it to me. Slide a miser. <laughs> he also sounds like he might be in charge of your treasury. Uh, yeah, he's, he does a lot of jobs. It's pretty, pretty ambiguous what he actually does, but I'm pretty sure he does it really well. Well, I'm going in. Oh, I'm fuck. liberating Karak Angazar Ooh. from the... Black Venom Goblin Tribe. Um, I think I'm going to smash him, but maybe we should auto-resolve it, or should we have a fight? We haven't had a fight yet. Are they... Is it Super Smash? You can, you super, not, you not, can you not see the screen? It's Super I think, Smash. I, yeah, so just skip resolve. it. Okay. <laughs> I just... Because um, I think there's going to be a big... <laughs> wow, yeah. Uh, oh man, you could have just sent in, like, your four hero buddies, and they would have just won that. <laughs> just ghost friends it up. Oh, so my ghost friends, they're, um, because they're ghosts, obviously, yeah. um, if they're attacked by non-magical weapons, they just, like, take hardly any damage oh, at all. holy fuck, total troops killed? Oh, well, Iron siege. Hammer did 101 kills. Did he? Like, himself. Fuck, and his ghost friends all did, like, 60 each? Oh, oh. apart from King Iron Hammer, who did 101, he was the best ghost friend. Fuck. Because he's Damn. the king. Fucking ghost friends. Oh, I guess that's how you become king. Kill more than everyone else. Kill all the goblins. 
Um, what am I going to do? Sack, occupy, loot. Which one? I I don't like to. I like to occupy my first few settlements because I don't like to get things off to the, the off on the wrong foot. You know. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Because I'm going to be there a long time. I found a gold sigil sword. Oh shit! This That's golden cool. sword gifts its user with foresight and speed that no mortal should ever have. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no. It's good. It's good that speed impresses you. Uh, let's but if no mortals should have it, there must be like repercussions there. Oh, more gypsy curses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you see, you're blaming it on the goblins, but I think <laughs> I think those dwarves were meddling, meddling in things that they shouldn't be meddling in. It's a curse, I tell you. <laughs> it was the goblins' <laughs> fault. <laughs> I'm gonna up my first skill. I'm putting it in armor. I'm gonna combat build this guy. Oh, who is it? It's my guy. It's, um, Which one? The king. Be be um, oh, better, better dog, big big cock. <laughs> just every time I love that his name <laughs> changes. Just constantly. I'm just going to build a, a little money house. A money house. Yeah. Trinket, trinket maker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give give you some dollars. I need a dollar. Yeah, I built a, uh, a little a little heap of shiny, shiny stuff. Because it takes money to make money. Yeah, and exactly. That's how you make money. You just put it all in a big pile and rub it together. And, and just then. more appears. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a really, really shrewd uh, goblin accountant um, who's kind of just really, uh, really going to town, making some sound investments. Oh, the Wood Elves want me to declare war on Carcassonne. Carcassonne, really? Do you think you're like the undead Bretonians? Oh, shit. Um, the tile-based board game. Yeah, exactly. They want me to, like, kill all the meeples. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man. Um, yeah, I fucking hate meeples. I accept. Do it. Take them down. Take them down. Man, first goblins, now meeples. I know. Maybe I'm the racist. <laughs> I, think, I think it sounds like it. <laughs> oh, okay, the dwarves to the, uh, the right want... A defensive alliance. Oh man, that's pretty good. Sounds like it's going to benefit them a lot more than me. Um, but sure, we are dwarven brothers. Why not? Dwarven brothers. I, I will protect my friends till the brothers. end. <laughs> I've got my granddad and all of the ghost friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, what's? I feel bad now. The, what's left of? Uh, we've got Grotslick with his, the remainders of the Black Venom tribe. Oh. And, oh, guys, it's uh, embarrassing what they've said to take back their home. Oh. Oh, Grotslick. <laughs> You're not welcome here, Grotslick. Oh, Grotslick. He doesn't look very happy about it. <laughs> no, but where else is he going to go? His last ditch effort. Oh. Oh, he survived. Did he? Oh, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release him. I'm going to release him into the wild. Go frolic, young Grotslick. Run free. Run free. <laughs> ah, Grotslick. Man, it's me, Crow. Welcome, friends. Do you want to get Total War Warhammer yourself? Well, just sign up to Humble Bundle Monthly for $12, and you can get a copy of the game. Man, I bought it. <laughs> Man, just click the link below. You can cancel your subscription at any time. Twelve dollars for Warhammer Total War. What a deal! God damn it, Crowl. Shut the fuck up already. 